So Paul, for many people, the concept of a wet market was unfamiliar prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, but now the term wet market is part of the global lexicon. Now you've worked in wet markets in China for many years, including uh, markets in Wuhan, where this pandemic is suspected to have started. So can you tell us exactly what a wet market is and what you've seen there, like boots on the ground? Yeah, I started working in China in the early 90s and um, all the way up through um, to sort of present day. Um, but wet markets, when I actually first went into a wet market, there was these restaurants running alongside of the wet market. And I said, or well, my translator asked, what, what's on the menu? And the restaurant, he replied back saying, everything in the sky, everything in the land, everything in the ocean. And there was just cages after cages of, of birds and mammals and seafood. And that was in the early 90s. And I know they have changed somewhat. A lot of, a lot of the sort of mammals are not there in the numbers that they were in the past. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these markets just, um, you, you walk into them and they're really dark. It just feels so neat. Everything in my body is telling me not to go into these markets. Mm -hmm. I know I've got to go in. I, I want to f document these places as, um, f to, to show people like yourself. Um, but just getting in and getting out, you just, you just do your work and you come out and just feel just filthy and you just want to literally get back to your hotel room and, and wash your clothes, shower. And it, it just takes a long time to get those images out of your head. You know, it, it's sort of some of them stay with me for a long time. Yeah. How do we reconcile this issue like of unified standards for, for conservation, for animal protection, for food safety, for climate change? I mean, with all these diverse cultural perspectives around the world, how do we reconcile this? Every, yeah, every country just needs to really, um, look at look at the their issues look at the sort of the, the trade in, in 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 wildlife wildlife crimes and and ultimately how how we interact with with all other species domestic and and wild um ultimately you know there's no pandemic ever come from broccoli it's it's like there's bird flu and swine flu and um now COVID-19, it's just, it's, it's all from the mistreatment of, of, of animals and each country needs to really address that. Hopefully this will open up everyone's eyes and, and change their ways. And thank you for your yeah, reporting, Paul. Thank you for being part of Live Med Aid today. Okay, excellent, thank you.